Good morning, everybody, and good afternoon, and good evening, and good in, in between there, because I know there's people from all around. I want to thank everybody for showing up today. I got Jessica here, who's going to be answering all your questions. You want to say hi, Jessica? I do. Happy Friday, everybody. How are you? So we are ready to roll today, and we're going to have a great time. There's two spots open. I didn't think, I thought for sure, wait a second. No, there isn't. <laughs> there was two spots open. Um, hey guys, in the question box there, you can click and post all your questions. Jessica is going to be uh, checking those over there off to the side. Um, say where you're from. I always like, I don't know, I just like seeing where everybody's from here. Let me click on this so I can see it. And then I'm going to pull up my other screen. Linda's there from Sarasota. Ferris is there, my buddy. Wayne is there. Where's Wayne from? I remember where we're Wayne. Bakersfield, that's right. Uh, who we got? Denise from Ohio. Andreas from the Philippines. Uh, Ferris is from Bahrain. Debbie from Pennsylvania. Joanne from South Africa. Barrett from uh, UK. We got Boulder Creek, California. I don't know that one. I live in California. Hey, Dan, I see Dan in there too. Uh, he's from uh, Chicago. And who else we got in here? We've got Lucia from South Africa. Um, yes, the kingdom of Bahrain first says, that's right. Uh, pretty cool place too. Uh, got David from Utah. Uh, you uh, where's this Cheshire, UK, Danny. Uh, Victoria from Virginia. Well, I could do this all day long. I can't do that, can I? I gotta get started. Hey, I want you guys to participate a little bit today. Um, you know, we're going to be talking about pixels uh, and what they are, but um, I want you to put in the comments if you're using pixels now, uh, just put yes or no. Yes, I'm using pixels or no, I'm not using pixels. A uh, couple people are saying no, uh, no. Those people who are saying no right now, are you advertising? If you are advertising, and you're not using pixels just put in the box there advertising no pixel just put that in there if you are doing that let's see here somebody says i got pixels set up don't know how to use them that is 90 percent of the people by the way so don't feel bad and you know this pixel thing is not going to just be one training session it's going to be a bunch of them because there are literally hundreds of things you can do with pixels is that crazy or what hundreds uh somebody's saying just advertising uh been let's see flushing my money down the toilet before yes you are you are if if you're not using pixels and you're using google or excuse me if you're using facebook for advertising you're just wasting your money you're totally wasting your money matter of fact you might as well just go get a billboard and put it outside because the whole backbone of facebook advertising is pixels so i'm going to go through this a little bit slower because i want everybody to be able to understand this um, but it's really super, super important that you get each step of this. So during today, and I see some people say I haven't started yet. Uh, can you use pixels with Bing? You got to check that platform. They're all different. Um, somebody's apologizing for being late. That's okay. That's cool. Don't worry about it. Um, so like I said, I'm going to take this a little bit slower and, um, also I'll post it later on, but please, please, please. Follow all these steps in this pixel thing because this can make you a tremendous amount of money. But if you don't have it set up in the beginning correctly, you're going to have real issues. OK, and I don't want that to happen to anybody. Uh, I'm going to go through, um, you know, over a period of time uh, how to do it in WordPress, how to do it in Shopify, because I know other people have different platforms out there. I know most of you use Shopify, but, you know, there's other things out there. So. Let's jump into it real quick. Let me get my screen up here so I can show you guys what we're doing. Okay. So this is really secrets because I tell you, probably 95 to 98% of the people who advertise on Facebook are not using pixels correctly. And, and I got to tell you, we've made mistakes with these things too. You know, I, I didn't have a clue on how to use them in the beginning. Uh, and as a matter of fact, over the past few weeks, they've actually added more things you can do. Uh, which I'll go over in future ones, but there's so many more things you can do and you don't have to, you know, put these codes in like you used to before. They've, got, they've gotten more intuitive where they can actually read your website. So let's just jump right into it. So this is all about Facebook pixels, nothing else. 
So if you if you accidentally got here and you're trying to learn how to drive trucks or something, you're on the wrong webinar. You need to leave, and make room for people who want to know about pixels. Okay, so what exactly is it? The Facebook Pixel is an analytics tool that allows you to measure the effectiveness of your advertising by understanding the action that people take on your website. So what happens basically is when people are going to your website, they are probably logged in on Facebook, okay? And if they're logged in on Facebook, they're gonna be getting pixeled. And, and it's, it's funny because 97% of the people never log out of Facebook, they just stay logged in. And it doesn't matter if they're in another window, that pixel is following them around everywhere they go. So first off, understand that you don't have to be in Facebook for this pixel to work. You've just got to be logged into Facebook for it to work. OK, uh, I hope that makes sense. And if you guys have questions, once again, I want you to post those off to the side because Jessica is going to be answering those for everybody. So why are Facebook pixels so very important? OK, well, the Facebook pixel allows you to measure. Whoop, did I have the same? I had the same screen up, don't I? I do. OK, so. <laughs> Let me get on to the next one. I duplicated that one. I uh, must have been studying pixels at the time. So you can use the pixel data to make sure your ads are being shown to the right people. Now imagine this. Imagine that um, you're selling beach shoes to people who are surfers, and you're able to walk up to people who decided that they want beach shoes and they want to go surfing today, and you were able to put your ad right in front of them. Basically, that's what you can do with these pixels. It's, it's really insane. Never in the history of advertising could you target people like this before. I mean, because people have used billboards for years, and uh, obviously, you know, almost 100% of the people that drive by that billboard don't even look at it, let alone are interested in what the billboard says. Uh, same thing with newspaper advertising. Same thing with magazine advertising. Same thing with radio advertising. But with pixels, we only show our ads to people who are interested in our product and want to buy it, okay, and are qualified to buy it. So that's that's pretty friggin' amazing. Um, the next thing is you can build advertising audiences, and I'm going to get into this in a little bit more detail later on. But basically, you can find a bunch of people that are interested in your stuff and that have bought your stuff, and then Facebook will look at that audience and they'll analyze everything about that audience, you know, where they live, how much money they make, what kind of houses they're in, what kind of music they listen to. I mean, everything about them, you know, what kind of family they have. And then what they do with all those data points is they go out and find more people that match that. And then you can show your advert advertising to those people. So that's pretty darn cool. The next thing it does is it unlocks additional Facebook advertising tools. So when you're using these pixels, you know, your dashboard could look different than mine. And so when you go to log in and you're trying to copy, because uh, I'm going to go into Facebook in just a second, and you're trying to copy what I'm doing, don't be afraid if your dashboard doesn't look exactly like mine, because based on how much you advertise and what you do, you're going to have different options. And that's just the way Facebook is. But it'll still be labeled with the same name. So you just got to kind of hunt around a little bit. Um, so set up a pixel by putting the code on your site. That's the very first thing you got to do. All right. So let's take a look at that. When somebody visits your website and takes an action, okay, like completing a purchase or opting in or something like that, the Facebook pixel is actually triggered and reports this action back to Facebook. So it starts building a list of these people. Um, this way you'll know when a customer takes an action and you'll be able to reach that customer through feature or uh, future Facebook ads. So, you know, if you want to get people who added stuff to their cart and you just want to advertise to people who added to their cart but never bought from you, you could do that. If you want to advertise to people who opted in for a particular lead magnet you had, you know, I don't know, 10 ways to make a chocolate cake and you wanted to advertise just to people who, you know, opted in and got that, you could do that. It's really that simple. And you can keep these ads running so that when more people do that action, they'll start seeing those ads again. That's, this is really pretty amazing. Okay, so let's get in here now and take a look at this. Okay, so let's talk about what a Facebook pixel is and how important it is. And, and really it is the cornerstone to all of your advertising that Facebook pixel is. It's so, so very important if you're gonna run Facebook ads, you know, the only way to do that is to use your pixel. If you are currently 
running ads and you have not installed your pixels or your conversion codes, you have to stop right now because Facebook really is not going to be able to help you. You're wasting your money because it can't optimize. It can't go out and find the buyers that you need to get. So, you know, there's no point in you even advertising. You're just like, it's, it's like having a billboard up on the side of the interstate. You're advertising to everybody. So Facebook cannot optimize unless you have this pixel set up correctly. So that's what I want to talk to you about. I want to show you how we're going to use this pixel. I want to show you how to install this pixel so that you know exactly what to do. And it's really not that hard if you know what you're doing. So I want to walk you through all of that so you have a really clear understanding of what it is, why you need to do it, and exactly how it works. It's really also the basis of all of your analytics. I mean, it's just, it's everything. Okay, so you got to have this Facebook pixel. So what I'd like to do is go over to my ad account. And this is not one I use a lot, but it'll, it'll be a good example for you. When you first get into... Uh, your business account on Facebook. It's going to show all your accounts in the middle, and then it's going to have some tabs up here to the left. And I will just jump into one of these accounts. It really doesn't matter which one. We'll pick this one right here. Now, once we're in here, it's going to default to whatever campaigns you have going on. I don't have any campaigns running in this particular one, so this is a good one to show you. It's going to show you right here at the top which account you're in you can do a little drop down here and it'll show all your different ad accounts okay so you want to make sure that you're going to the right one okay that's really important because what happens with a pixel is it starts to learn your audience so you know for example we have a survival niche and we have a pixel for that and it looks for people who are interested in survival stuff, people who are interested in survival foods and prepping, that type of thing. I also do online training and teaching people how to start businesses online. So it, that pixel is under a different account, and that's the pixel I use for that one. So it goes out and it looks for people who are interested in online businesses and online marketing and e-commerce and that type of thing. Uh, we also have, you know, pet supplies. So, you know, and pet training. So, you know, it would go out and look for people who, you know, have, you know, interest in pets and that type of thing. So it's really important to understand you can't use one pixel for everything. You must, must, must have different pixels for different niches. So for every niche, you want to have a different pixel that you're using for that. Now, you can have that in all one ad account, but you do want to have the different pixel. So the first thing we want to do is look and see where do we find that pixel once we've set it up. So there's three little bars up here. And when you click on those three little bars, it's going to give you the top three things that you've been doing. And right here it shows ads manager, page post, and pixels. So those are the top three. But let's say they weren't there and I needed to find them. I hover over here to where it says all tools, and it's going to give me every tool I have. So if I want to plan, I can go into audience insights, creative hub, create and manage is going to be my business manager. It's going to be my ads manager. It's going to be my page post, um, my app dashboard, my app ads helper my automated rules. If we want to do measurement and reporting, we're going to look at ads reporting. We're going to look at test and learn. We're going to look at analytics. Events down here is where we're going to find the pixels. So under events, we're going to have pixels, offline events, app events, custom conversions, and partner integrations. On the next tab here, they call that assets. Um, so that's where I'm going to have my audiences. Those could be custom audiences, which we'll talk about in another video. It could be images. It could be catalogs. It could be business locations, videos. And then on the last one here, you're going to find settings. And, of course, it has your settings, your business settings, and your billing. So if you need to do anything with your billing, you could do it there. So we're talking about pixels. So let's go over to the measure and report one here, and we'll click on pixels. And that's going to actually take me to that particular pixel. And if I click on details here, if I click on details, it's going to give me a little bit more data here. You can see how many people were visiting and getting pixeled at that time. So we've got all that information there, but where do we actually get the pixel? Well, you can see it up here, okay? And you can actually copy it right here. But, you know, like most softwares, there's several ways to do it. And if you're really going to be setting it up and you want to put it in uh, your different pages, your conversion codes and all that, then you're gonna go right here to setup and click on this. When you click on setup, you're gonna have this page here pop open right here. 
and it says manually install the code yourself you could click right here all right and this is going to have all your conversion codes right here okay and i'm going to talk about that in just one second but let's go back here i want to show you how to take this pixel right here and put it on a Shopify site. Shopify has made this really easy. I'm just copying this code right here. And then I'm going to go to a dummy Shopify store. There's nothing in it. So if you're at the home button right here, um, this particular one, you want to go down to where it says online store and click on that. And then once you click on online store, you want to go all the way down here to where it says preferences. And if you notice, it says title and meta description. This is a fake store here, so there's nothing in it. Uh, but right below where it says Google Analytics, it says Facebook Pixel. We would just paste that pixel right there, okay? And then we would go ahead and save it. Now, I'm not going to do it because this is a dummy store, but it's really that simple to do that, okay? So we'll take that out right there. And let's go back to our pixel page here. Okay, we'll go back to where we got our pixel from. And I want to show you a couple of things here. When we click on setup, we look in here and it says manually install the code yourself. You would click right here. You know, if you, if you didn't have something like Shopify, you're going to have to paste this here. And this is going to tell you to find the head and the head close tags on your web page and locate the header template in your CMS or web platform. And then you can learn where to find it right here. And then you could just grab this right here, this code, okay, and stick it in there. And then what you would do is you'd go down here where it says copy the entire pixel code and paste it in the website header. So if you click on this, it automatically highlights it and you just copy it right here. And once you've got it copied, then you can go ahead and paste it into your website. Now, if we scroll down here, um, if, you, if you don't you know, want to do this yourself and you have like a web developer that's working on it, you can click right here where it says email instructions. And when you click on that, you add the recipient, whoever it is that works on your stuff, and it's going to have the pixel ID here, and it's going to have that code form right here, so they could actually use that. So let's go back, though. Okay, this is equally as easy to do if you have a WordPress site. So let's take a look at that real quick. If uh, we look at this code here, you just copy it once again. And then what you would do is you go over to your WordPress site. I've got one pulled open here. And in this WordPress site, we want to use a plugin called insert headers and footers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to plugins, okay? And then we're gonna add new. You'll come to this page here, and what you wanna do is search plugins right here. So it's called insert headers. I think if I just pull that up, that'll probably pull it up. Yeah. Okay, so here it is right here, insert headers and footers. It's by WP Beginner. Okay, so that's what you're looking for. So once you've done that, and I've already done it, so it already says active right here. But uh, once you've done it, you can scroll down here. Okay, you want to scroll down here to where it says settings, and then scroll down to where it says insert headers and footers. And you want to click on that. And once you've done that, and we've already put the script in here, but once you've done that, you're going to paste your code from Facebook right here, okay? And then that'll insert it into the headers of all the pages. So it's equally as easy in WordPress. Now, once we've installed this, what we wanna do is click Continue. Now, these are gonna be event codes. This is where Facebook really shines, okay? This is what tells Facebook, hey, somebody bought something. Hey, somebody you know, put their name in and, and you generated a lead or whatever. And this information, once it is triggered, it's sent back to Facebook. Facebook then looks at the person that did that action, and it goes out and looks for more people like that. As you can see, as we scroll down, there's a whole list of different events. And what you want to do is you want to pick the event that's going to match what you're trying to do. So if you're trying to get a lot of people to buy your product and you want to get more people like that, what you would do is you would click this little button here. And as soon as you click that button right there, what it does is it gives you the code right there. So you would just copy that code. Now, where would that code go? This code, if it's a purchase, okay, I want you to think about this for a second. Once somebody buys, they look at your sales page, they fill out your order form, they put in their credit card information, and then right after they buy, they're sent to a thank you page. That's where this code would go, okay? Because that would tell Facebook, well, this person completed the entire process. 
Now, if that's not what you wanted, let's say it was a generate lead one, okay? Down here, you would copy this one here, and this is for a lead. Where would this code go? This code would go on the page that the person would see after they opted in. So let's say somebody is opting in for a free report, and after they put in their email address, click submit, you know, a page may pop up and say, here's your free report, or we're going to email you your report. That's where this code would go. All right. And the next one here, obviously, complete registration. It would go on the page where they completed the registration. So that's where this code would go. Next one on here is add payment info. OK, this only makes sense if they add their payment info, whatever page they end up at after they do that. So this may be tracking people who put in their payment info and you want to see how many people get more people like that. You would put that code in. Add to cart. As soon as somebody adds to cart, they're going to go to a page maybe where they have to put in their credit card information. So maybe you're trying to get people to add it to cart but didn't complete yet. You know, depending on what kind of campaign you're doing, I, I don't use that, but it's there. Add to wish list, initiate checkout, search or view content. OK, so these are all the different codes there. And when you click on one of them, you see it changes it down here to whatever that code is like this one here was search. So it's saying this is the search code. And then you would just paste that in there. And if you do that, you're going to be able to track what people are doing. And Facebook's going to be able to find more people like that for you, which is exactly what you want them to do, right? Now, if you don't have Pixel Helper, I highly suggest it. You can hover over it right here, and it'll tell you all about it. You click on this. It'll actually take you to the page and tell you what Helper is, OK? Um, using Facebook Pixel Helper and it, it walks you through all the basics and how to install it. Um, it's actually a, a Chrome add-on. And if I go to any page, so let's let's say I go to Google, and I've already got it installed right here. You can see it right there. It says Facebook Pixel Helper, and if I click on it, it says no pixels found. So obviously Facebook doesn't have a pixel on their page there. But let's pick something that would. Let's pick. Uh, walmart.com and i'm willing to bet they've got a pixel because they want to retarget you right so if we click on it it's going to say two pixels are found on walmart.com so it's going to show you that it's got a pixel with this id it's a view category and then right here it's got another facebook pixel right here so they got two different pixels and that's a view page so they're pixeling people for these two different things and, you know, it's up to you what you want to pixel people for, but you can check any page. You can even check your own page, which you should do, to make sure that pixel is there once you're done. So once we're done with this, we just click done, okay, and, and that's completed. Uh, if you have custom conversions, you can click on this tab here. It will show you what those custom conversions are and, you know, if you're using them or not. Um, if you have partner integrations, You'll find these right down here, whether it be Magento or Shopify or Eventbrite or WooCommerce. You know, so these are all e-commerce partner integrations right here. So the reason you would use these or connect all these things is that you could use these for customer purchases, interaction, management. Uh, and you could actually take the data from these partners and measure the impact of your advertising. And of course, that would help you get more conversions and create more relevant audiences. So that's pretty important too. And then they have the different categories down here uh, of what it is that you want to work on. You got e-commerce, you got website platform here, uh, you got CRM and marketing software right here. And it's, it doesn't have all of them, but it has some of them. So, you know, and these here requires Zapier, as you can see, uh, these other ones do not. So that's a really good overview on pixels. So let's go ahead and move on now. Okay, guys, I want to go ahead and answer some questions um, for you about this, because I, I know this is complicated and I've got a ton of questions in here, but, but feel free to put more questions because we're going to try to hit as many as possible. So let me see here what this one here says. Uh, what event should we track for our online store? That's a great question. Um, you know, pixels can be used for retargeting. Um, so one of the things you may do is let's say you ran an ad like, you know, I, I have an ad for an uh, ebook that I have out now. Uh, and I may want to 
track people who went to that page and looked at that ebook but didn't buy it. So I may want to run ads to those people and say, hey, still thinking about this book? You know, here's a discount. Here's a special bonus we're going to give you. Um, you could do that with any of your products too. Uh, let's see. Can you expand on pixels per ad account and what the restrictions might be? Um, basically, you're going to have just one pixel, okay, for that account. Um, you know, based on a niche, that's what you want to do. If you want to have, you know, different pixels, you're going to have to have different ad accounts. Uh, you know, like we have one that's in a survival niche. We have one that's in the e-commerce niche, that type of thing. And the reason you want to do that, obviously, is because that pixel is constantly getting smarter. Uh, and what I mean by that is it warms up to a particular audience. So it starts to learn the kind of people that will convert or buy or opt into your offer. And if I've got people who are, you know, opting into my survival list, who, you know, are survivalists or buy survival foods, those people will be entirely different from somebody who wants dog training, right? I mean, they could be similar, but for the most part, you know, they're, they're different people. They have different things they do, different things they like online. Uh, let's see here. Do you see any sort of pixel reports? Well, yeah, what you've got uh, basically is the results of everything. So if you create an audience, and you know you um, start to sell an item that pixel is going to start to fire and, and what you can actually do also is in the pixel itself the conversion pixel uh, which is not really a pixel it's a code in that particular code you can put a value in there on a particular page so if you're selling something for eight dollars and you know you're it's costing you six dollars to get a customer well you're good you're two dollars good you know you'd put as many six dollars out to get eight dollars all along uh, and if you have that pixel installed right and you have the conversion code in there, it will actually show you in your ad account exactly how much money you're making. So that's pretty cool. Now, I will tell you this. It is not a 100% science. You know, sometimes what uh, Facebook shows me and what ClickFunnels shows me is a little bit different, and I'm going to depend more on ClickFunnels as far as the exact numbers, but it does give you a good overview. Um, something else I like to do is, like, if I have an audience, uh, let's say it's the United States, and it's men and women. Um, I like to go in there and then I like to break it down geographically so I can see what each state is within that audience. And let's say, you know, I'm getting $2 leads in Florida, but they're costing me $4 in New York. What I'll probably do is kill the New York one and just have the Florida one and the other ones that are below whatever threshold I decide to pick. So, you know, that's something else you can do. And I also look at, you know, male, female. So if more females are opting in and they're cheaper leads, I may kill the male portion of it. Um, then I may go in there and I may look at the different ages because you can break it down by ages. And if, you know, 45 to 64 is doing better than 25 to 44, I may kill that other age and just, you know, focus on that one age. All right, I've got another question here. If you haven't had any purchases or abandoned carts, how would you find a pixel that has targeting info? I think I know what you're asking. Um, but what, one thing you can do is you can target other pages that are similar to yours. So, you know, let's say, you know, we're in the survival food niche. What we may do is we may find a page of a competitor that sells survival food and you can actually target their audience, you know, as long as the audience is big enough. So what you may want to do is, you know, do something along those lines until you get some of your own data. Uh, also, you can go to audience insights, which this is a whole nother course. I'm not going to do this now. But you can look and see, let's say, you know, somebody who is buying from a competitor, you know, what age group they are, what kind of pages they like and all that. And that that's real helpful. That's a whole nother course. So I can't do that right now. Um, how long do pixels last for targeted users? It gives the most recent data on that. Jessica, do you have a, a clear answer on that one? I, I think Facebook does it for seven days. All right, I'm going to go on to this next question here where she's getting that information for you. Where do you go to see the age breakdown and other info? You would just go into your ad account and click on it. Uh, I actually use an app on my phone, and I would highly recommend you guys doing it because, like, I'll be on the go, and I'll just pull up the Facebook ads app on my phone. Uh, and, I'm, as a matter of fact, I'm doing that right now as I'm talking to you. And what I'll do is I'll actually click on that particular ad. You know, I've got, like, a bunch in here right now. And then once I do that, I will click on the actual ad sets. 
Uh, and once you click on the ad set, you can click on the ad and you scroll down and it'll have uh, all show details. And once you get into the details and all that, you can see like uh, I'm the one I'm looking at right now, I've got, you know, men and women and I've got more purchases by men than women. And it's a higher cost for the women. So I may kill uh, women. And then you across the audience part on, on your app. You're going to have age placements and location. So you would just click on one of those corresponding things, age placements or location. Um, do I have to use pixels? No, no, you don't have to use pixels. You can. Yeah, I, I put a picture out. You can just take your money and flush it right down the toilet because that's the whole basis of using Facebook. I mean, if if you don't want to use their data, why are you advertising it? It doesn't even make any sense, you know. So, you know, I'm not I'm not giving you a hard time, but it's just like that's the whole purpose behind Facebook is that they have data and they have a pixel. And if you're not using it, it's just like, why wouldn't you? OK, uh, let's see what other questions we have here. Uh, that was about the age breakdown. Yeah, you can just go into the audience on, on your um, ads. And I do it on my phone. Uh, I've killed a lot of ads just, you know, sitting at lunch or dinner, just looking at it going, well, that one's not good. Uh, and then you can click on location and then you can see all locations. And of course, you can pick like I'm, I'm looking at one now and it's got, you know, it's got it by countries. <clears throat> and then within the countries, it's got it by each city. And I can just pick the ones I want and just, you know, get rid of them um let's see here other questions we got in there can anybody get a pixel you you can you got to have an ad account set up and you also have to have a page to run it from um you don't want to run it from your personal one because that does you no good and you just don't want to do that you want it you want it to be a business type thing i've got a couple more minutes i could answer a couple more questions uh is there a specific spying pixel james bond app and I'm not quite sure what you mean by that, but if you're looking at your competition, all you got to do is go into audience insights and you, you put in the interest box, you know, what you're trying to spy on, you know, whatever competitor is, if, you know, if it's, I don't know, Frank Kern or if it's Infusionsoft or whatever you're trying to spy on, it will actually pull up all their data as long as they have enough data and you can click on the demographics, you can click on the age and you can see all that information. Facebook gives it all to you um key point don't target anyone target the ones that are most profitable yes definitely david just adding that information that's very very true um you know so what, what you could do is you could run an ad you could look at your audience insights and then you could take that data and run another ad with just that data that uh produced well for you so if it was a certain age group it was a certain geographic region you could create a whole new audience and do that um yes somebody else is asking can you create audiences based on what they've done yeah you can actually you know target people who added to cart you can target people who checked out you can target people who viewed your content you know whatever you want to do uh and facebook's going to go out and look for more people just like that okay do i have any others in here i'm trying to weed through some of this um can we see this later on? yes you'll be able to see this in the group uh, I will um, take this recording. You'll see it in the group. But if you're not a member of the group, you know, I know I have sometimes people that jump in here that aren't even a member of the group. It's the art of e-commerce success. Uh, and guys, you know, post, you know, how some of this works for you too. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of successes, but not everybody posted in there because they're embarrassed or whatever. But feel free to post what you're doing. Put a screenshot in there. You know, we love seeing that stuff. Other people love seeing what other people are doing. Um, they like kind of spy it on your business, but you know, it's, you know, everybody's at different stages. So it's really pretty helpful when you do that. Uh, the group's gotten quite large. I will tell you, you know, if you purchase one of our courses, obviously we're going to try to answer your questions first. You know, if you haven't, uh, you know, sometimes other people in there will answer your questions, but you know, with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people, it is always, you know, difficult to get to everybody. And I try to do it as quick as I can, uh, but that's difficult to do. Um, somebody's also saying they need help building their store and that's cool. Yeah. Um, if you need help building the store, you can just send a, a ticket to support. We do have a team that does some of that. Uh, they can build it out real fast. Cause I know some of you guys, you know, it's, it's really overwhelming sometimes to add all the products and put in, you know, the descriptions and all that stuff. So we can do that. Um, just cause somebody's asking about click funnels and resources. Okay. She's going to put in the, um, section there the chat section um 
for some AWeber, if you want to get you try AWeber as an email provider, if you need ClickFunnels or whatever, we have some, I think, discount uh, affiliate links, and they are affiliate links. So, hey, use our link. We get make make a dollar or two, you know. <laughs> that would be really cool. Um, can we download the webinar later on to be able to go back to some of the steps we could have missed? You'll be able to view it online. You really can't download it because it is copyrighted material, so we can't do that. Uh, but you can view it online. You can view it, view it in our group uh, if you're a member of the group, uh, Lucia. Uh, so let's see here. Where is this other one? Uh, do I ever use Facebook offers? You know, I don't. Um, they could be great. It, it's really tough to use everything that Facebook gives you now. It used to be pretty easy, but there are so many things in there now that, uh, no, I don't use Facebook offers. But if you try it and you have good results with it, I'd love to hear about it and how it's working for you. Somebody's uh, advising using Fiverr for some of this stuff. Fiverr's okay for like really simple stuff. I wouldn't have anybody do anything in Fiverr for Facebook ads. Um, that would be kind of difficult. Um, but uh, yeah, I do know somebody who actually has, but um, they had a good experience. But you don't know because you know you don't know who you're going to get on Fiverr. That, that's more like for logos and you know stuff like that. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> we are getting ready to go do something here, and you probably know what it is if you're on any of our calls, and we're maxed out here today with people, so I know some of you know what we're getting ready to do, and we try to do it every Friday, uh, and uh, I'm getting people already guessing, yes, lunch, yes, lunch. Uh, what about using Facebook post boost? Um you know, I don't like doing that because I can't target the way I want. You can target a little bit. But what I generally do on all my ads, in fact, I do this on all my ads. Yes, we're going to lunch. Sadai says dinner. Well, actually, it's lunchtime here, Sadai. So we're actually going to do lunch. Today's going to be, what is it going to be today, Jessica? What's the, the cuisine? Hummus. Well, no, it's, hummus is not a cuisine. <laughs> she says hummus is the cuisine. Okay. Uh, it's uh, Middle Eastern we're doing today. Yes. We love different kinds of foods. Can't wait for the picks. You're going to see some picks. I, I promise you. They do this hummus at this restaurant, and I'll get back to this post boost in one second. I'm not, I haven't forgotten you. But they do this hummus that's really awesome with these mushrooms at this one place we go to. It's really good. So, post boost. We don't run any ads direct. What we do is we go to our page and we go to uh, create a post and we make a dark post. And a dark post is a post that's not going to show up on our page, it's just a post we make. Then we go into our ad account. And instead of creating an ad, we go up there and we select um, you know, posts that we have and we'll grab that post ID and just plug in that post ID and submit it. And that will actually pull up that post and we use that as an ad. So that's how we go about doing it. Uh, let's see here. Everybody's talking about Middle Eastern food now. I got off track. Didn't I? I'm so sorry about that. But it looks like people like hummus. And, you know, hummus can be made really bad. I've had it to where it's like really lemony. And gross and i've had it where it's grainy but this place is like a really smooth really just really good they do a great job really enjoy it so okay guys i think uh so people are saying they're hungry now <laughs> joanne says she's hungry joe and you're gonna go get some too right everybody wants hummus now everybody's gonna go have it. it's gonna be a hummus day so guys um uh we got to be careful today though because i'm in california and today is 420 day does anybody know what 420 day is? Huh? Anybody know what 420 day is? It's huge. Somebody says uh, hummus is Egyptian, not Lebanese. Okay, Israeli or Syrian chickpeas for over 3,000 years. Well, thank you, Ferris. I didn't know that. That's good information. I still love it. Doesn't matter, right? Um, nobody knows who what 420 day is? There it is. I see some Americans are posting now. 420 day is pot day. Okay. And 420 has something to do with a law or something. But guess what? In California now, it's totally legal. Uh, yes, it's weed day. T Tina, how do you know that? She has a big smile on hers. <laughs> so she's really into it. Um, and in California, it's legal. So like literally, I don't know what country you're in, but across the United States, there's always these people in street corners with these big signs. They're spinning them for a restaurant or for a car wash or for apartments or whatever, we now have these sign spinners for pot. So they're spinning these signs that says, get your weed here or the best pot in town or whatever. So anybody can go in and buy now. Uh, let's see, AAA does tipsy toe in California for 420. 
<laughs> that's awesome that's really good all right guys uh this has been a really great session i really appreciate you guys showing up i want to see you in the group i want you to post in the group and do me a favor when there's new people joining because we we're having a lot of new people joining um make sure you welcome them introduce yourself in there share your ideas share your failures share your successes i mean that's what it's all about and you know with a community like that you know you know i i do this all day night and day seven days a week this is what i do and yet there's still stuff i don't see or know so um you know if you come across something and you think that it's helpful stick it in the group you know don't be ashamed if it's not right or if it's you know you think it's beginner stuff or somebody may already know it there may be somebody who doesn't know and it's really super helpful um so anyhow really appreciate you there we appreciate you every week on these calls um we're going to be doing some more during the week but we're going to really be hitting this facebook uh ad thing hard because you know fact is if you can put in a dollar and get a dollar 20 back you know that's pretty darn cool okay um you know the one of the richest guys in in the world warren buffett you know gets about a 10 or 11 percent return yearly uh on his money uh and you know you can do facebook ads and you can get 20 percent in a day so if you think about that that's a pretty darn good investment so um it's it's something you want to learn but you, you you don't want to run ads without pixels okay so back off if you're doing that don't waste your money on that uh and then we're going to get out of here and we're going to go eat some lunch jessica would you like to say goodbye uh yeah i wanted to answer that question really quick though. which question <laughs> about um the length of time that pixels are tracked oh yeah 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 she's got um, that looked up for you so yeah facebook standard conversions are tracked on one day seven day and 28 day um basis but uh when you are retargeting people that have you have pixeled um on that have hit your website you can retarget up to 180 days so up to 180 days is the answer for retargeting the, right? ans okay. the answer is it depends on what you choose <laughs> yeah so the, the the one the seven and the 28 is the initial pixel yeah okay but retargeting is up to 180 Okay, yeah, and I know people who will build out campaigns before they even get people pixeled, and it'll be a campaign for people who are seven days, people who are 14, people who are 30, people who are 60, people who are, you know, and they'll build out like 10 different campaigns depending on how long it's been, you know, and then you could actually say in your ad, hey, it's been 30 days since you checked this out, why don't you go back, we've got this discount, and that's pretty cool that you can do that, you know? Uh love to hear you when you're high i don't get high unfortunately that maybe that was my high school days i don't do that stuff anymore i hear it's too strong not for me uh let's see here oh yes yes we're gonna starve you're right i gotta get going okay all right guys you have a great weekend and i will talk to you soon and see me in the group i'll talk to you later